In this video tutorial, we will show you how to run OpenOffice as a Windows service with Always Up. If you have not installed OpenOffice, open your web browser and go to openoffice.org. Select I want to download OpenOffice. On the next page, click on the download link. Save the file on your hard drive. Double click to run the installation file. Installation files will be unpacked on your desktop. Follow the installation instructions. Press Install. And press Finish. If you have not installed All is Up, go to coretechnologies.com. On the following web page, select All is Up. On the next web page, click the download link on the right. Save the file on your hard drive. Double click to run the installation file. Follow the installation instructions. Accept the license agreement and press install. When the installation process is finished, check start all is up and press finish. Select application add to open the add application window. On the general tab, in the application field, enter the full path to the open office executable as office. If you installed OpenOffice in the default location, this is C, Program Files, OpenOffice.org Free, Program, SOffice.exe. In the Arguments field, enter your command line flags for SOffice.exe. For this tutorial, we want to run Headless to eliminate many of the OpenOffice's windows which we won't be able to see anyway, and accept connections on port 8100, so we specify dash headless dash accept equals socket, comma, host equals zero, comma, port equals 8100, semicolon, URP, semicolon. In the name field, enter the name that you will call your application in Always Up. We have used OpenOffice Server, but you can specify almost anything you like. Click over to the Logon tab and enter the username and password for the account in which you installed OpenOffice. OpenOffice will run in this account so that it can find its settings. Click over to the Startup tab and check the Ensure that the Windows Networking and Components have started box. This informs Always Up that OpenOffice needs the TCP IP networking stack property initialized before it can start its work. Click the Save button. In a couple of seconds, an application called OpenOffice Server, or whatever you called it, will appear in the Always Up window. It is not yet running though. To start OpenOffice, choose Application Start OpenOffice Server. No windows will be shown. Remember, we are running headless. But running netstat anptcp from a command prompt should reveal OpenOffice listening for connections on port 8100. That's it. Next time your computer boots, OpenOffice will start immediately before anyone logs on. We encourage you to edit the application in All is Up and check out the many other settings that may be appropriate for your environment. For example, configure All is Up to send you an email whenever OpenOffice starts or boost OpenOffice's priority to give it preferential treatment on your computer. Thank you for watching.